Welcome back, you lovely people. As my mug says, I do things I shouldn't do, and I keep doing them. My mother gave me this to remind me that I keep doing things that I say I shouldn't do. My cat has decided somehow it's better to jump onto the back of the chair, climb the hardest way rather than just step on the seat of the chair and then jump onto the table. He goes onto the back, climbs like it's a tree and then jumps onto the table. Who knows? That was the noise. Ah, coffee. Any time of the day. I drink too much coffee. Why am I making this video? So, I have decided to make some changes in my life and that means a change with the cars. I'm a hoarder so I have this disease where if I get something, I buy something, I develop emotional attachment to it and then I can't come to terms with getting rid of it even though I may never use it. So a couple of years ago uh, some of my followers who were there at the time may remember I ended up having five cars at one point. I know it's very stupid and it's very silly but I loved each one of them individually and I felt like I would miss it if I didn't have it. But gradually over time I managed to sell them and I ended up with two. So I had the Rapide and the 911 which were both an Aston Martin and a Porsche two of the finest cars I was really happy and I thought I'm now content but it's been two years since I last changed my cars and I felt the urge to get something different so I don't think I should tell you in this video <laughs> I will ruin the surprise so one of the cars is gone and the other car that I ordered will be delivered in two weeks. Um, I never thought I would ever buy this particular brand and uh, I don't know why. I just decided I liked it and anyway, if I say more, I will give it away. So look out for a video in the next couple of weeks where you'll find out which car has been replaced and uh, what's the new addition to the family. In addition, I've decided that I advise many people to live below their means and be reasonable and rational with the amount of money they spend on various things, yet I don't practice what I preach. I buy things and I hoard them, not just cars, everything. And there's so many things I own that I don't use and I just bought them at the time because I fell in love. It was an impulse and uh, I guess, as I said in my previous videos, I probably have some psychological problems where I buy things to compensate for something that's missing in my life because it gives me some pleasure. Who knows? My shrink must. I will ask her. So. <laughs> Anyway, I've also decided that I'm slowly going to not get rid of because it's a horrible term. I'm going to sell the things that I don't use regularly. So anything that I haven't used for the last six months is going. Anything that I think that if I don't wear it or use it for a month, then maybe it's not worth keeping and hoarding it. So I have decided to sell my Cartier and my Tudor Black Bay Bronze. Um, the Cartier Drive was like a driver's watch and I really like it and stuff, but I never really wear it as much. This is my standard go-to everyday watch. It's tough and it's uh, smart and understated. Um, so yeah, I'll actually put the links um, below. I put them on eBay. I don't know, anyone might be interested or if you know someone, just feel free to 
forward the links but yeah so i am i put my leica x the montclair edition on ebay because i use the q2 most of the time so i've just got that because it's the montclair edition and i thought i'll keep it and it's just stylish and again hoarding yeah and it, it's, it's it's very strange how you end up accumulating stuff i remember not so long ago at the age of 25 or 26 i left home as in my family home um, and i had two suitcases with my clothes and now i have a whole house five bedrooms full of stuff that i don't even need so that's my mission for the rest of 2019 to go through my house and get rid of things that i don't need and i don't want because i think we i say we me i'm a sucker for marketing so when i see um videos or adverts for things that look very exciting i just get sucked in and i shouldn't really be buying them but i end up doing it anyway and sometimes i regret it um, but it's too late it's it's a disease apparently um, but i've reduced it i mean i have you've seen my video about my wardrobe i have insane amounts of clothes and shoes and all kinds of things that i think are a sign of stupidity and the fact that i'm filling a void in my life with little sugar rushes as i put them little things that i buy just to make myself happy i suppose that's the psychoanalytical analysis of my craziness my shopping addiction but the only way to control it is to get rid of these things what i also did and i don't know if i ever mentioned that in any of my videos i went teetotal at one point so a year year ago probably maybe a year and a half ago I decided that I'm not going to buy anything for myself for six months so I could only buy food and basic necessities no clothes no shoes no nothing so that was a massive shock to my system because there were so many times I would like I really want these pair of pair of socks or underwear or something that I thought was like nope I have enough can't buy it so after six months I realized that I managed to get rid of my shopping addiction and uh, now it's time to cut down and simplify life because the more you have um, the more these things end up owning you um, i heard this song and i think i might have mentioned it in one of my previous videos that uh, where the singer says that we want to own these things but they end up owning us and it's so true if you think about it you buy a car then you have to pay for the insurance, taxes, uh, servicing, tires, all the upkeep costs. And then you have to work hard to keep the, the thing, the car or whatever thing you buy. So a lot of the times we buy things and then we have to work extra hard to maintain them and keep them. I think we should focus on the quality of life rather than the materials in it. Perhaps too late, but it's never too late. So um, I'm realizing this now that one thing you can't buy is time. You can buy things with money. So if you work too hard and you miss out on life and the time, then you have perhaps wasted some of what you have. Anyway, I just ramble and I love talking, so I talk too much. Hope. This video will be of some use to some of you who might have the same disease and similar problems. Um, comment below, let me know. Right, thanks for watching once again and uh, hope you enjoyed this video and uh, see you soon. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that uh, this is me trying to chain, make another change in my life. Uh, wearing, trying to wear some casual clothes because all my friends and everyone keeps mentioning that I wear smart clothes which i always thought were casual clothes so i'm wearing a hoodie i mean i have like three hoodies so i'm trying to 
Be casual. Bye.